he's not comfortable in the spotlight. He'll do everything he can to avoid it. However, once you get to know him and he becomes comfortable with you, he's very much at home in the spotlight. Big Q, Gwen Nelson! This was a keg stand celebration. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been in the dormitories. <laughs> I am Q, and I am Irish. You're gonna be when you grow up, little boy. <laughs> well, he was a large baby at 10 pounds, 10 ounces. I used to buy four gallons of milk when he was growing up, and he was always running around trying to keep up with his older brothers and sisters. Quentin also means, I believe, fifth um, in Latin, and Mary Ellen's fond of saying that he was her fourth and fifth child because he was so big. Quentin Nelson's big physical presence was a hit in everything he did. As much as the kid from New Jersey tried to shy away from the spotlight, he was always one big play away from being the next big thing. And at Notre Dame, he made a really big impression. You know, when talk came about the draft and people were like, ah, you can't take a guard, can't take a guard, you know, in the top five. I'm like, I think he's the second best player in the draft next to Saquon. You know, like, I, why, why can't you? I didn't go to the draft. I wanted to be at home with my family, friends, teammates, all the people that helped me get to where I am today. The Indianapolis Colts select Quentin Nelson, guard, Notre Dame. The Colts did not wait very long. The top offensive lineman in this year's draft. Let's go! In the Colts' first six games, even their number six pick wasn't enough to keep Indianapolis from a one and five start. And while most rookies are seen and not heard, Nelson's voice came through loud and clear. I asked Coach Frank if I could meet with him, and he said, yeah, anytime you want. Uh, my door's always open. And I just told him, uh, like, hey, we need to run the football. Hey, let's run the out of the ball, baby. How many times do you think we've run the ball so far? We've had the pass a lot, given in the situations we've been in. We're playing the Bills at home. The Bills defense was one of the best, I think the number one ranked run defense in the NFL, and we weren't running the ball very well as a team. And I remember Quentin coming over on the sideline to me just saying, Coach, we can run the ball on this team. And I really think that was a big defining moment in our season. Keep running that. Keep running it, baby. Yeah, let's go. Listen, sit down for a second. Sit down. Nice job. Nice job. Great effort from start to finish. And no lie, man. We talked about getting that running game going. Yeah! When you can run the ball down a team's throat the way they did at times last year, you'll see the defense completely fall apart. Wow, look at that. It's just another play in Q's world right there. Just a smackdown right there. I mean, that's just beautiful. I mean, it's just a big car crash. International House of Pancakes with butter and syrup just dripping all off it. I mean, this is what it looks like. <laughs> Stacking one defensive lineman on top of the other. Typically, you go games without ever even mentioning who the left guard is. Every single Monday morning, the first thing I would do was, was all right, let's put the Colts tape on. Let's see what he did. We don't talk about interior offensive linemen enough. Quentin Nelson, simply one of the most exciting players in the league. And yes, he plays guard, so you don't often hear that. Driving guys into the ground, running down the field. You know, if, if the back was 20 yards down the field, Quentin was not far behind. I think that's his trademark. At the beginning of each play, Nelson is pushing and pounding opponents to the ground but it's his teammates he's pulling up when the whistle echoes. I 
at the end of the day, I just want to be the best teammate I can be. And also, you got to chase down the play in, in case there's a fumble. And I mean, you could save a turnover. Hey, guys, get to the ball. Get to the ball, just in case. The ball is out. It's picked up by Tennessee at the 30. Quinn Nelson makes the tackle. He's blocking to the echo of the whistle. He's in that play from, from the start to the finish. Once a game, he's going to come over to me and say, keep calling those runs, coach. Or he's going to have a specific play that he wants to run. And I love that. Hey, okay, let's get back to the play. You got it. It, it was almost open. Okay. In his second season, Nelson continues to play at a level that is sure to draw him much attention. but he might be more comfortable just being one of the guys. How we doing? <laughs> Throughout the whole process, he's the same kid. Um, he's humble um, and treats everybody the way you'd like to be treated and doesn't think he's all that. And uh, I think that's what I'm proud of. You've made, uh, you've made guards cool. I, I think there's a lot of other guys that have done that, not just me, but uh, thanks. <laughs>